question that question about. for you. Um, but a lot of girls like, um, you know, obviously smash for money that that are dancers. Um, like, what made you quit after six months? It wasn't for me. What I made seen, it out for you? I seen how girls had to operate in order to even be in that environment. Right. And yeah. I wouldn't even want to be. Give us the specifics. Like, what made you say, hell no, nah, I'm good? What started, made you walk away I started from hating men, for real. Oh. Like, oh. Honestly, truly. I started really hating men because, yeah. because you were in that atmosphere, they felt, you know. Entitled. Yeah, very much so. And they could treat you however they wanted to. And they thought, you know, exactly I mean, what it is. And then, you know, I had to see girls get but freak drunk every night just to be up the there. Cult. Yeah. yeah. Just to be up there or doing other types of drugs just to deal make with the their pressure. Money, you know of, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, this is not something for me, you know? I mean, I, I would turn down dances. I would turn down money because I was like, yeah, I can't even. Sorry, my legs hurt. I dance too much. I don't oh, know what to tell you. No, nah, they called me the lazy dancer. Because I really <laughs> was I didn't even, I was her, like, yeah, she hustling just out there like how every other girl was because, honestly, my heart wasn't in that place. I was really there just for the money. But that wasn't. How'd you make it last for six months? Um, God, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Would you agree Say. that to do that kind of work, you have like no way of having a real soul because you have to put your morals behind yourself just to be in that environment? Uh, I would say no. I would say <laughs> some people have a soul, but I feel like they get lost. And if you stay in it long enough, there's no coming back from it. Okay. Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's like too far. Too gone, like too far gone. Yeah, too far gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you you did you did the dancing and then you also did the OnlyFans. What made you quit the OnlyFans? Then? I barely did the OnlyFans. I wasn't posting anything crazy, like you know. But what made you quit that too? I just was lazy. I just I had to keep posting on there and <laughs> keep interacting with people. <laughs> no. It was just like ah, man, freak this. <laughs> I was like, all right. But do you work harder like at Home Depot now, or are you like picking up like heavy stuff, and or are you like doing cash registers? What do you do? Um, when I first started, I was in the lumber. And then oh, now yeah. I was <laughs> like, you like what, huh? Lumber. She said lumber. I was like, here we go. <laughs> the wood, you know. Yeah. But um, <laughs> no, now I work at the service desk. I deal with dumb people all day. You know. What do you to, want, nigga? How to <laughs> have to break things down for grown people? You know, stuff like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, if a girl's watching right now and wants to be a dancer. Or uh, get on OnlyFans. What would you tell them? Um, at your own discretion. Like, um, just know what you're getting yourself into. Because before I started dancing, I literally wrote down the pros and cons, and I made sure mentally I knew what I was getting myself into. Interesting. Mm. So you actually wrote all the pros and cons before you did it. I still Which did list it. was bigger? The, the cons. Co the con list was bigger. It was, but you know. What was on top of the pro? What money? Money. Okay. Yeah, that was that the only pro? <laughs> only pro? No, it wasn't the only pro. I learned how to dance. I did want to learn how to pole dance. Uh huh. Cause I already know how to dance, but I really wanted to learn how to pole dance, and uh, also like I got to experience a different side of life. Okay. It was a different experience. I really just wanted to experience it. Yeah, cause typically when a woman goes into that profession is for money, mm -hmm. of course, but. Of course. Your morals have to go out the window too, on some <laughs> level, to maintain at least. For some girls, <laughs> I still didn't world. let my morals. Yeah, change. so you walked away. That's that's good. You know, I went, I went to some clubs in Miami. That's where I was really. Wait, which one? Yeah. I went Booby to G Five, and then I G Five. <laughs> oh my god! And then I went to oh. Booby. Oh Mr. no, I went to Pink Pussycat. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. that's low key. That but that one was wilder than G Five. Way wilder, spot, like because, because it's low key. Yeah. How's it, uh, how's it wilder? Because imagine, right? <laughs> were they doing in there? Strip clubs or <laughs> they was fucking and sucking. You can, you yeah. can you like can straight, straight up in there. Straight like that, up. You can do whatever you want in those type yeah. of clubs. Straight, no they didn't see you. have no rules. No like rules. The, bro, at all. I know girls. They don't go to the main ones because everyone goes there. The mm -hmm. smaller ones. Oh, nigga, they be getting paid, nigga. That's where, that's where they all happen. We'll How talk. do you know? You can put your hands anywhere you want. <laughs> nigga, so we'll talk. We'll talk. No, that was my first time actually getting touched, like fully naked. And I, I was just like, I got up so quick. I literally kicked the man with my heel on. I was like, fuck the, back the fuck up. Oh, I was we, telling him to back the fuck up. We know people that go to those smaller ones because they can do whatever. I didn't even know. Where the mm -hmm. fuck is that? I, like, I don't know where it is. I, 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 know, I never even heard about it. It's by Booby Trap on the river. It was not too far. Not too far. It's like those inner city areas. What's it called? 
Pink what? Pink Pussycat. I heard about it, but it's super low key. Why Chris and Moe? It closed what? for a while, I heard, and then they reopened. <laughs> yeah, I've never been there. I've never heard about it. Okay. <laughs> and just so the audience kind of gets a, 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 a gist of this, like, there's a lot of strip clubs in Miami, and every strip club has, like, a different vibe. G5, mm. I ain't gonna lie, that's fucking that's some hood. hood shit, bro. That's hood, the hood They had a whole lot of fake big booties, Hold though. Yeah. <laughs> the office, G5, kick a diamond, stay far, bro. Yeah, that's stay all. Stay far. That's, that's all black chicks, man. I keep it a thousand. Personally, it's gonna be all black girls. Personally, I like Gold Rush. You know why? And ratchet Latinas. The food here is amazing. Not just black girls, just uh, ra- just ratchet chicks in general. It's gonna be they were like, black. They were they're mostly black. It's mostly yeah, black, yeah. but you're gonna find ratchet Latinas and ratchet white chicks in there too. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you this. In G five especially. It's a place to be. Shout out to Gold Rush, man. It treat me very well. The food is amazing. And guess what? It's this nigga fresh loves the strip clubs, man. G5 has some effect. good food too. They, oh, and I can't. I'm gonna get shot. Chicken. I'm gonna get shot. Chicken. And watermelon. I don't want to be in there. There's some they, fucking grape drink in there. They actually, you know have, they actually have sophisticated food over there. No, in they G5. Really do. Yeah, they, they do. do. They redid yeah. it. I will say when this. I went, it was re. <laughs> I will it was say redone. This. Yeah. Like this is real talk. They're some of the best food strip clubs. I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> Lobster. <laughs> Pasta, Lobster. Yeah. yeah. Burgers, yeah. pizza, yeah. salmon. Yeah. Salmon. Yeah. That's crazy. crazy. That's, food That's crazy. Over. I'm mad That's I didn't hit them up before I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um so you so you would say um know what you're getting yourself into. So let's say there's a girl watching right now, because I'm yo, I'm actually shocked at how many young women watch our show a lot, dude. They just kind of keep it on the low. Yeah. Um, what would you tell her if she's thinking about dancing or doing one of these things? Like I said, I mean like if you really feel that's what you have to do, I feel like that's the last, very last option. A lot of girls who do it, um, they have no other choice. Mm-hmm. I feel like they know that that's what they got for themselves. But I feel like there's always another choice. Yeah. Are you happier there's now always... at Home Depot or when you were dancing? Yes. Mentally, yes. But money-wise, no. Make, <laughs> you, make less, right? you make less, but you're happier at Home Depot. Yes. Mentally, okay. yes, I am. All right. 